Today in Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna show you three reasons why the range selection tool is my go-to tool. The range selection tool can be accessed by pushing R on your keyboard, or you can also come up here to the tool selection icon and then select the range selector. The first reason I love using the range selection tool is for cutting out dead air. The old way would be to push B, get the blade selection tool, make a cut, make another cut, push A, select that point, and push delete. But I'm super lazy and I like to cut out as many steps as possible. So I'm gonna select the range selection tool. I'm gonna click and drag over this dead air. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and push delete. And now all of that dead air is cut out with just a couple keystrokes. So this is very, very fast. Again, here it is. I'll select this large moment of dead air and push delete and it is done. The next reason I love using the range selection tool is for audio ducking. So the old way is to push option, click on the volume bar here, make your keyframes just like so, and then click and drag in the center there to duck out your audio. But with the range selection tool, you just click and drag over the audio that you wanna drop out, you drop it down, and you'll see that Final Cut Pro automatically creates these four keyframes for you that work just like other keyframes, so if they aren't to your liking, you can of course change the duration on those keyframes. And the final reason I love using the range selection tool is for copying and pasting specific sections of a video. The old way would be to use the blade tool, you make two cuts, you select the center piece there, you push Command C, and then you push Option V to paste it on top, or you can push Command V to paste it into the actual magnetic timeline. But I hate doing that because then at the end you have these cuts that you have to go through and delete those cuts out, and it's just super annoying. So use the range selection tool, click and drag over the location that you want copied, you push Command C, Option V, and boom, you have pasted that element, you haven't done any destructive editing to your video, and you have your copied video piece. So hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and if you wanna see another video very similar to this one, but it's all about how to better sync your footage in Final Cut Pro, I recommend you check out this video right here. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.